Obrigado. Estou muito feliz. Ah, ok. Estarei sempre do torcendo por você. Thank you very much. At a promo event in Tokyo in 2014, a 12-year-old boy made everyone laugh in the room by speaking to Cristiano Ronaldo in Portuguese. Broken Portuguese. Except that the laughter in the room slightly annoyed CR7, who insisted on defending the young Yota Iwaoka in an admirable way. It is 2014 in Tokyo. Ronaldo is in Japan for a sponsor when a young fan comes to him with a folded white sheet of paper with a few words of Portuguese on it. Hello, my name is Iota. My dream is to be a football player and to have the pleasure of playing with you one day. What do I have to do to achieve this goal? Except that Iota's Portuguese was a bit broken, which made most of the room laugh. And Cristiano laughed a little bit too, let's face it. But seeing the young boy's shyness and discomfort, he decides to defend the boy and shows his displeasure to the organizers. Why are they laughing? Why? He speaks Portuguese well, very well. They should be happy because he tried so hard. In addition to defending him, he gave him the secret of how to succeed in football. My big message for him, for this, this, this boy, it's believe in your capacities, work hard, dedicate yourself 100% and um, dream. Believe all the time, believe that this is going to be possible. Well, of course, he signed his T-shirt, which the young Yota surely still has somewhere at home. Obrigado. Estou muito feliz. Ah, ok. Estarei sempre do torcendo por você. Thank you very much. This moment shared between Yota and Cristiano is probably a distant memory in the mind of the five-time Ballon d'Or winner. But for the young Japanese, this moment was fundamental in his personal development, but also in his training as a footballer. Yota, who is now 18 and 19 years old, has gone to the Yamanashi Gakuin University not far from Tokyo and has joined the top team at his university. At the start of 2021, he and his team even won the National University Championship, a tournament where the most promising under-18 players in the country can be found. Due to an injury, Yota could only watch his teammates win the quarterfinals, the semifinals and the final, but that's beside the point. He never gave up and will never give up, as Cristiano Ronaldo once advised him. Cristiano's advice has always stuck in my mind. The example of this young Japanese man is one of many, and it's often when he's with his youngest fans that Cristiano gives the most of his time. Me dio mucha pena que te fueras del Real Madrid. Yo también. <laughs> Remember this? Once again, this is a moment that the little boy and fan of Real Madrid will remember for the rest of his life. One other magical moment of CR7 with children, and it may sound weird at first, was the day Cristiano Ronaldo broke a young Bournemouth fan's wrist on that free kick. Charlie Silverwood, 11 years old, was watching a preseason game with the Cherries and Real Madrid when CR7 sent a powerful free kick in his direction. Despite the pain, he was determined to stay till the end. After the game, in order to apologize, CR7 contacted him and sent him a signed Real Madrid jersey. Even though he has an incredibly busy life, one that goes at 100 miles an hour, Cristiano Ronaldo always finds time for his fans who patiently wait for him. He takes selfies, signs jerseys, shakes hands or smiles warmly. And when his fans lose patience and decide to get on the field to take a selfie, Cristiano still gives them a smile and takes the picture. He also makes sure they are left alone by security. His accessibility is the main reason why he is one of the most appreciated players and the most followed celebrity on Instagram.